day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Age of Fear 2, the Chaos Lord. Let's dive right in. And here is our armed forces, led by the Orcs. Ah yes, I was saving up for his next elite points, wasn't I? And for him as well. I mean, chilling touch is useful, but I'd rather get him a diff different diff ability. Everybody else is coming along well. Sappers. Bullman. Needs elite status. That's going to take a while. But it's so good. So good. Now I want to hold off because I want to get double attack, which would make him ludicrously powerful. I want to get these guys up as well, and they just need a little bit more, few more points. Right. We've got everybody we needed. I believe I spent my money wisely. Ah, yes, I remember now. The developers said they have fixed the armor. We lose Iron Mind for him, which isn't really that much of an issue, to be honest. Items. He still can't equip it. I do not know why he can't equip it. That is the same. Uh, well. One of these days I have to do one of these where everyone can carry items, because that would be nuts. Just have goblins running around and legendary artifacts. But let's get on with the game. Yeah, some of them have got nice traits. What's that? Demon Slayer. Zombie Slayer. Zombie Slayer. Slime Slayer. That's not going to really help us. He's probably going to have Soul Slayer, yeah. Right, let's press on Salwi. We were just about to go into a mission. Cat's hog, time to sleep. Sleep? Suscop and I say, ghost kill someone. Must cat's hog so smart we kill humans in the night. Sus. This level will be able to control one additional team. Additional units are marked by a different base colour. Depending on the scenarios, the units may join you after the battle. Right. So what are we looking at? Ugh. Who are the biggest threats? Cleric. Ooh, they got a paladin. This is gonna suck. Mages would be a pain. But I have a sneaky, sneaky plan. So sneaky, you could caught, use it for, as a brush. Now, let's check out what we've got here. Precise strikes. Darkness, suit arrows. Right. It involves some very nefarious do trickery on my part. But if we are correct, we should be able to work this just fine. First off. Operation Sneak Goblin. This is going to be a cunning plan. Very bold. Very effective. Hopefully, he says. Right. My plan is thus. I'm going to take him, I'm going to take my Goblin Sappers, Infiltrate here. Uh, 
move in and attack. And hopefully, hopefully blow them up. In theory, he says. In the meantime, I shall keep my archers in the back. This, The plan vogue does have one weak point. I need to basically jump and kill as many of their range units as possible so I can shoot these guys with poison weapons. Which would be interesting. So I can't get within. I can't. Right. I'm going to have to be careful because I'm going to have to sneak him through this group up here. I need to deal predominantly with the high priest because he's going to be absolutely horrific. That paladin's going to be a pain, but it's, the, it's basically the, these guys here, it's the magic users. Everybody else. have to be careful. We also have to be careful because we're going to be surrounded on all sides by humans. We're just going to suck like you wouldn't believe. Now, we won't be able to get through here easily, but I get the feeling Judging from there, we should be able to sneak around the top. Actually, we may not be able to, and the goblin may have to go down here and sneak up. Which means it's going to be a long episode. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability in this really to... Uh, be as careful with my recordings. Like, well, not careful, but I can't like pause and skip time as such. Keep an eye. If that's the case, I might just. Ooh, that's going weird. So my game is going a bit freaky. it's twitching for some reason, I don't know why. Right. I do not know why it's doing that, and it's worrying me. See, look there, it's holding it there, I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on one second. Yeah, this is weird. Okay, folks. Where are these guys up at? Okay. It's explosive radius. I may just have to suicide him and hope that I can get within range and detonate. The problem is, once he goes. They're all going to wake up like you wouldn't believe. So I need to get my guys. Thankfully, Orc Shamans are rather tougher than your normal Shamans. But even so... I need to go quickly and jump on these guys. won't be able to get all the healers. Those mages are what I'm really worried about. I 
don't can't get that cleric at the back, which is going to suck. But if I can take him out, I should be able to mob up the rest. Okay. I swear this game is cursed, folks. I kid you not. Goblin sappers. Problem is, who's the bigger target worth killing? The mage is going to be a pain, but I can take him out relatively quickly. That high priest is going to be horrific, but I might be able to kill him quickly if I rush him. Ooh, that's. That's actually a plan. They want to send Catzog, but that's all my heroes. Do you want to send the troll? Best plan I have. The best plan I have. Yeah, this is going to be risky as anything, and the game glitching like it is. Well, at least I would, at least the, at least the developers will see this. I mentioned this than 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 this before, but I. Oh, just out of range. Right, we'll move next turn. Right. One more turn. Promise I don't want to push my luck. the guys down here quickly. Range unit's going to be a pain. And turn... Right. Who's would it be worth? 1d3 fire damage. Most likely to kill these guys, so let's go with them. Oh, he's still up. Okay, move there. Game is glitching again for some reason. Didn't kill the cleric, almost killed the paladin. Mm, wither him. God, this is games glitchy like you wouldn't believe. Oh, that blunted it. Curses. Okay. Seriously. Right. 
wasn't as successful as I'd hoped. Not nearly as close. Gauss out the human's eye. He needs to stay there and guard him. Uh, well, he's a and turn. No, oh, he's got a heal. Curses. He's got blessed. Yeah, this glitching is annoying, it's anybody's business. Right. First off, click a couple of him. Minotaur, Minotaur, kill the high priest. do much but it means we should get a back attack in on him right can anyone this is going to be risky but I'm going to do this charge He's not in range. He's going to die next turn unless we. Oh, well, he's not going to die. He's got the stupid um healing potion, isn't he? So let's charge up here. Goblin Net is going to run up here and stay out of the way. Ugh, this did not go as planned. Ah. That guy needs to die. Good night, good night, horseman. Ah, Taz killed him. Oh, he must have been berserk. Dang it, I can't control him this turn. Okay. I needed to actually use him as well, which sucks. Right, this guy's in bad shape. Cross the paladin. Kill the guard. Kill the guard. Deep wound him. I'm finding it funny that I'm chucking like the shaman at people, which is hilarious. Well, at the same time, deeply frustrating. Right, we'll move him up to support. I don't like when this guy's got fireball, which sucks because he's got to use it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and he killed my netta. Oh, I loved my netta. I should have pulled him back. Uh, well. Problem is, every time Taz does that, we lose control of him. It sucks. Right. He's going to die next turn, so I don't care about him. Snakes can take over people's turns. I knew if I didn't kill that stupid mage, he was going to haunt me. He has haunted me as well. He's going to flee. Get up here. You go and charge him. So he's killed my little goblin net, which sucks. Main character can charge off down here. More push. To be honest, losing the netter was a pain, but I could have lost much more valuable units. I mean, the netters are very useful, I won't lie. His morale broke and he ran. His morale broke and he ran. Butchered them. Um, to be honest, my plan didn't go quite as planned, unfortunately, but as they say, no plan survives first contact with the enemy. Poisoned him. Finally, we got him back under control. Chased down the Oh, we did manage to kill him. There we go. Priest is making a break for it. Right. You crush him. You kill him. We lost a goblin. I mean, it's pain because losing veteran units in this game really sucks. But they can always get another. Oh, he's got poison resist. Oh, that's why I can't hit him. He's got poison resistance. That sucks. I just like how um, having poison resistance means that the like you just don't. Uh, I suppose it makes sense. It doesn't mean I had to like it though. Basically, what's happening? He's got poison resistance. See that poison immunity, which basically means that because he has poisoned attacks, his stuff just isn't hitting him. So I could like literally have like a massive war axe that's full of poison, but it doesn't matter if it's the most most venomous weapon in the world or most brutal weapon in the world. If, I, if it's got even a hint of poison, it won't hit him. I can only hit him on criticals. Which sucks. Get Taurus to open the chests. Seriously, you missed in 90%. Uh, another Knight's Mace. hate those things. To be honest, the Knight's Mace is my least liked weapon in the entire franchise, bar none. Ah, oh, Phoenix Feather. I do think they should give 
that Taz should have double attack, because he has it when you're fighting him, but he loses it. Plus, you hire him at the same time you hire ogres. And ogres have double attack as standard, so... Well, they have double damage as standard. So I think it would make sense to actually have... have that for him. Right, is anything around here? No, okay. Menu. End battle. Yep. I don't know why it's glitching like that. That's a nice change. Right, so we've got our sappers back. We lost. Uh, we did lose some people, which sucks. And how did we get? We got some nice new assassins, which is very, very good. Skills. We still can't dual wield, which sucks. Come on, man. Elite is still quite a way off for him. Magical missile, it's useful. Firebolt is useful. Lightning would be good, but I need to have elite status. Saving it for him for probably shield break. Upgrade to chieftain, upgrade to black orc. Ah, uh, that's what I was saving up for him. Yeah, he's gonna be ages because these guys take an absolute ton of time. I should probably start saving XP for these guys so they can jump straight into Black Orc when it comes available for them. Poison immunity, yeah. Tires. Oh, just a bit more experience and I can get that and then go for the double attack. Assassins, finally. Have lots and lots of lovely assassins. These guys are worth their weight in gold, and as such, I'm giving them poison immunity so they don't keel over and die straight away. Sappers, elite status for them. Yeah. War rune. Iron mind it can't be enslaved, cursed or bribed. Yes. Can't get that yet. These guys are still mulling around for little XP boosts. He's gonna take for ages. Need to save up for so he can get to the elite status. I'm doing this predominantly uh, battle rage. I mean, I could get rid of the wolves. I'm not massively. I don't massively care about the wolves, to be honest. I know there's a really nice strategy involving them, where you summon wargs with them. If you will, if you have a warg, you can well a a warg. Um, they summon additional wolves, you basically swarm people with them, which is really cool. 
Right. Greater assassin. We can have more assassins in reserve. That's why I had these guys in the first place. Spec them all out assassins. I haven't got the XP to buy anything over to this guy. A whole host of goblin assassins save myself lots of money. Goblin assassins are very powerful. They're they're weak. I mean they're quite fragile units, but they are very, very, very useful. So let's go to the I'm so annoyed he still can't get dual wield yet. My aunt, I thought I was on hero level. Yeah, he's on hero level. Oh, I just... Mm, just so a little bit more XP. A little bit more XP. Acid sword. Nah. Maul of strength. Minus to attack, power strike. Double damage, slow attack, cannot attack after moving. Nope. I'm sorry. Ooh, what's this? Eh, uh, no, no point, I already have that ability. Vampire knife. Life drain, bloodlust. Ah, uh, it's actually quite a nice thing to have, but... I'm going to sell the stupid knight's mace because I just don't like them at all. Really don't like them. Shand. I have no real use for them, and neither the bone shield. Ring of Lightning. Ooh. Very nice. I might get get it for Earl actually. So that. So it's that base two morale, elemental resistance. That'd probably be useful for him. Let's equip that. So now for Earl. First off, rings, ring of lightning, buy the ring of lightning, equip the ring of lightning. And equip the phoenix down. Fire resistance, yeah, magical resistance. Very nice. His HP is a bit low, but he's got a lot of nice abilities. Not really interested in that stuff at all. And I could give him that, but uh, we lose HP, MP, which sucks. Iron Mind. I'm going to remove the healing brew by that, given the powerful potion because he's a character. Little goblin assassins can have some healing potions. Just because I need to keep them alive. There we go, got a stack ton of money rolling in it in fact. To be honest I could probably give Taz Essence Alive and really pimp him. To be honest we could probably give him Formula of Invulnerability as well just turn him into an absolute monster. This could be a good place to stop. A 
as always, this has been Age of Fear 2, The Chaos Lords. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, or you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get back in contact with you. This has been Age of Fear 2, I've been Cornish Knight, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.